Uh, something I've promised to share on the channel but I haven't actually and I apologise is my homemade television set. Something I've been working on over pro probably over well over a year now. Um, this started out as a project when I found this which was, uh, was originally like a metal drawer part of a unit that I found discarded at Deptford Market. I thought ah oh, that could make a great chassis. The television set is made up of um, four valves really, all that's needed. Um, two oscillators, video amplifier, and um, what I'm referring to as uh, amplification, uh, deflection amp output, something like that. Um, so uh, 15,625 uh, 15, uh, kilohertz, which is used to deflect the screen horizontally, uh, frame 50 hertz, something like that, uh, being synced by uh, negative going pulses from the first half of an ECC85, second half goes up and modulates the tube, and the output is uh, each uh, section of a single ECC I think it's an ECC83 or something I've got in there at the moment. Um, seems to deflect the tube okay. Uh, need to have equal voltages on the anode and cathode, more or less equal anyway, to get a good linear picture. Um, also, it's very dependent on the on the value of coupling cap you have to it as well. Something I've just realised, well, well, recently realised. Um, for EHT, I'm using a line output transformer from a 405 line telly. Um, worked all right, but I've also added a tripler just for experimenting. Give us a bit more EHT. And these are the current results. I've also got an, uh, an ECL82 or something like that as an audio output. But a uh, pretty linear picture. It's all right, I guess. Um, very, very slightly egg-shaped, but you know, it's such a simple circuit, I can't complain. Um, focus is alright, I've got the focus control from a Form TX-10, um, that's uh, running the show. Um, there's no sync separator in this, um, I'm amazed it works at all, if I'm honest with you. Just got an RC circuit, a couple caps and resistors that uh, pick apart the sync pulses for line and frame. Go to uh, pattern gen, put that on freezing mode. Now, I'm watching the BBC, uh, BBC One, whatever this is. Frame sync is great, uh, sometimes struggles um, on line sync, uh, changes of scenery and stuff seems to be working all right. I'm pretty happy with it. Um, just doing a couple finishing touches. I've um, added, I've increased the minus volt supply to about 500 volts. Um, I've put this transformer in there and connected a couple of its secondaries in series, which um, coming off the back of uh, one of the um, one of the uh, 300 volt uh, windings for the HT gives us about five six hundred volts minus six hundred volts for our grid seems to be working all right anyway um i will make a full video on this eventually but <laughs> mainly about time if i'm honest looks pretty good and if i can give you some idea with the lights turned on or some lights turned on in my workshop you can just about make out the picture there I'll decrease our uh, exposure. I also need to turn the tube around, it's upside down. And by the way, the uh, the tube is from a Russian oscilloscope, um, which I I bought the tube, it seems um, like a good fit, about five inch or so. Anyway, um, if you'd like to see more of this, uh, please drop a comment or something. I've got an open day with my workshop, just a little event I've put on, um, and I'll be sure to demonstrate my homemade TV sets along with some other restoration stuff. Um, and 
a few other repairs I've been doing recently. Anyway, if you'd like to see a full video on this, I'm more than happy to take the time to make it. Let me know. Bye.